Folks, if you've watched the show here anytime at all, the show being this one, All In with Brian Weatherford, perhaps you've seen it more than once. We've had the president or a high-ranking official of all the various late the uh, chambers of commerce here in the area roll through studio with us today. Um, we've had people from a lot of chambers, but today's a special day for us on two fronts. We love having chamber representatives in studio with us, and we've never had anyone. Least of all, we've certainly never had the president of the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce in studio with us today. She's right here on the show, Keandra Jones, the president of the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce. How are you doing, Ms. Jones? Good to see you. Thank you. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. As I was talking there on the intro, we've had plenty of chambers in here before, and I've noticed there's a commonality between all these chambers, and that's this. A lot of people have the misperception that chambers of commerce are for the big, giant businesses in the area. That hasn't been the case with the others. Is that the case with you as well? That's not necessarily the case, especially in Dallas, Texas. Um, there is not a city chamber of commerce and so we're kind of broken into pieces and parts and so i represent the southern sector uh, commonly known as oak cliff well and the thing though i want to get out there is members of the chamber of commerce aren't necessarily the big giant companies employing hundreds if not thousands of people in a lot of cases it's small businesses as well and i'm, I'm guessing your chamber's the same that is exactly right. We um, are probably about 90% of our members are small to medium sized businesses. So, yes. Well, and, and again, that's common with everybody. We've talked to the big ones, we've talked to the small ones, and, that, and that's just kind of kind of a common thing, and I think it's really neat. I'm active in a lot of different chambers myself and have been for some time, and I absolutely personally and professionally realize the importance and, frankly, the benefits that people can get from a chamber. But for those who don't, what are just a couple of reasons people might want to consider joining your chamber? <laughs> Well, there, you've mentioned a lot of them, but there are some, um, some, some common benefits. If you're interested in growing your business in a specific area, and in my case, the Oak Cliff area, I would definitely recommend that you become a member of the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce because we're going to help you get in spaces and places that you normally would not be able to get into. Uh, we have 11 different committees that we encourage our members to be active in. But also, most of our function is to be our members' advocate. Um, and so we do that by having relationships with our local elected officials as well as our state um, legislators. And so we are for the small and medium-sized business, and we help them take their business wherever they are to the next level. You know, and a lot of that, that's through events. You guys have a lot of events. I jotted down some notes on some programs and events that you're associated with. If you don't mind, I just kind of like go down the list here quickly. And if you can just give me a little description and a thumbnail and the benefits associated with these things that you're up to. Uh, let's start with Oak Cliff Works. I like the name of that and I read about it, but tell everybody what Oak Cliff Works is all about. So Oak Cliff Works uh, is a program that is near and dear to my heart. That particular program is a workforce development program that we, the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce, run under our nonprofit. Uh, that program uh, takes individuals that are in our community that are 125% or below the poverty line that are unemployed or underemployed and gets them connected to career opportunities. So that program is in partnership with the city of Dallas. Uh, we take them through uh, some training in partnership with Dallas colleges and we connect them to our members for career opportunities. Okay, so that, that, I read about that, but obviously I couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> so that was a great description on that. Uh, we, we mentioned some of the bigger events you have. For example, one of them is your Centennial Gala. Uh, what time of year is that and what is that all about? So the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce is the oldest chamber in the city of Dallas. So we are celebrating 100 years this year. And so each year we've had like our normal galas, uh, but this year we're hoping to just celebrate in such a different way. And thanks to coronavirus, we will be doing that. Uh, I think we'll have a virtual gala this year. So we're still trying to figure, figure that out. But 
So we'll be celebrating 100 years uh, the first weekend in December. Well, I got to say 100 years is a big celebration. It doesn't matter if it's in person or virtual. I know you guys are going to do a great job on that, as, as you should. 100 years is uh, very, very impressive. Talk to me about Black Men Matter. What's that all about there with the Chamber? So that is a very new conference. Uh, the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce has recently come out in support of the Black Lives Matter movement which is the first time our organization has ever supported anything, um, anything even close to similar to that. Uh, and in an effort to just do our part, we wanted to create a series specifically for black men. And that is this, um, it is a safe space for black men to come and vent and be themselves and work with a black male therapist that guides their conversations and helps them deal with the grief and anger associated with racial injustice. So we've got that series going at the Chamber of Commerce. It happens every Saturday. Um, and we start at one o'clock. We try not to put an end time on it because once you kind of get folks talking, we don't want to shut it down. Mm -hmm. But uh, so at one o'clock at the Oak Cliff Chamber of Commerce each Saturday. Well, certainly very timely. I applaud you guys for uh, coming on board. It sounds like just, just a great thing, and best of luck with Thanks. that. And last but certainly not least, just by name alone, I saved this one for the end because the name has me. Taste of Oak Cliff. I've heard of this yes. before. I've never attended. Why should I go? Do you want to eat? Yes, ma'am, I do. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the reason to go. But, you know, um, Oak Cliff, unfortunately, uh, doesn't necessarily have a, uh, a, I think we get a bad rap. And uh, we wanted to create an event that showcased not only the restaurants, but the cool places that are in Oak Cliff. And so we, so we want to give you just a taste of some of the great things that happen in Oak Cliff. So this is an event that showcases just that, our constituents that give you tidbits of their businesses in the Southern sector. And so we've only had the event for a couple of years. Uh, we partnered with um, some vendors there in Oak Cliff. And I tell you, we had an 8,000 square foot venue that we sold out of both years. And so we've had to utilize a bigger partner. And so we're moving forward with the Dallas Zoo um, just because we need the space. It's such a popular event, but it is a wonderful one day festival in which you can bring your family, your friends, and you can come to, to taste all that Oak Cliff has to offer under one roof, so to speak. Well, and again, when you say taste, it may or may not mean food, but you're getting a taste of everything that Oak Cliff has, has to offer. And this year you get to slide a little bit over to the Dallas Zoo to enjoy it as well. What a great venue that will be. What's the timing on that? What time of year is this uh, event? So, uh, really, it was scheduled June the 13th. Ah. However, okay. <laughs> However, we've been unable to, of course, uh, due to coronavirus, we've been unable to uh, have the event this year. So we've postponed till next June, but we're making preparations for a bigger, better event. Oh, you're sliding over to the zoo. It's going to be bigger and better. And you know what? It's going to be a bigger and better taste of a great area of town, Oak Cliff. All right. I'm, I grew up, by the way, here in Southeast Arlington myself. So I'm, I'm familiar with Oak Cliff. Very much. Oh, wow. So, okay, uh, good. I am familiar with that. You know, as with everything you do, that's going to be a great event. We look forward to hearing more about it and all the other great things there at the Oak Cliff Chamber. I learned a lot today. I know our viewers did too, Keandra. I appreciate you being here. Best of luck with everything going on there at the Chamber. And whether it's live or it's virtual, it's going to be wonderful. Thanks for all you do. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okie doke.